All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log, and TV. We've got a review to do, so let's get started on the Knives Fast channel. So this is a concept knife. They come in these really cool uh, pouches. Uh, this one comes by way of my buddy Brent over at Backpack B, and this is the concept Goblin, not Gremlin, uh, Goblin. Um and so Brent sent this along, and if you do not follow his channel, please check down in the description. I'll have his Instagram and his YouTube channel linked. He is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated knife channels on YouTube. Uh, he does not have enough subscribers for the work he is doing. Uh, he has amazing collection, and his videos are so good with the editing and graphics that he does. Uh, he just takes it to the next level. Really, really cool. So again... This is the Concept Goblin. It is in this really cool, uh, G I mean, excuse me, titanium. Let's see what they call the titanium. I think it's just like a bronze colored, I don't know, it's really light. So it's like a gray or, or bronze colored bead blasted uh, titanium. It does have the blue accented screws. It does have a full backspacer there uh, and blue accents on both uh, the over travel stop screw, the pivot screw, uh, this screw and the clip screw. Now that clip is a little strange, but it works awesome. I don't care that it's not all the way to the butt of the knife. You're going to have about that sticking out. Uh, this thing carries amazingly and it is a small little knife. We'll do some comparisons here in a minute that'll show you that. But what a great looking knife. It is chamfered off really well. It is a frame lock that is done amazingly. And this backspacer, I believe is blue anodized tit titanium. The blade is gorgeous. Check this out, guys. And this one is S35VM. There, v, and there is the number, uh, the concept logo, uh, the Noble Knives logo. That's who designed it, Marshall Noble. And then this amazing looking uh, hole. I mean, it's just what a design. Now, you guys know I've designed my own knife, and sometimes I show it a little too much, but that's okay. I, I kind of like the bulge at the top of this one. If you look at the Mach 51, and by the way, this is a good size comparison as well. And if you look at the Goblin, uh, they both have that really cool, let's hold them up here. Really cool, kind of nice thumb ramp. Uh, really cool. And this one's got a hole all the way through. And this one has obviously got a, a, um, a slot, but uh, a, a fuller if I could come up with the right word, but there you go. I really dig it. You do have a, a sharpening tool. You have this awesome uh, place to choke up here, guys. We're going to talk about that a little more in a minute. As far as lockup, uh, it's about a 20, I would call it. Again, this clip is great. The, the relief for the lock bars on the inside, which is really, really cool. Um, it doesn't have like um, a height difference to get into the lock bar, but guys, you can get in there very easily and it actuates very easily. I was really surprised by that. Now, as far as action, uh, the D10 is pretty good. It's not crazy, uh, but it's pretty good. Um, I middle finger flick this knife because uh, you guys know I'm not huge on front flippers, but I middle finger flick this knife. Uh, you can thumb flick it as well. Uh, which I stink at because I keep putting pressure on the lock bar. Yeah, so for me, it's a middle finger flick knife. Um, and you can, oh gosh, you can, I can't, front flip it. Good luck, guys. Uh, do that front flip thing, you people that are front flip geniuses, because it ain't me. Uh, the tab is a little long, so it does come back. It's a short knife, so it does come back and hit you, and that's what's happening to me. So guys, like I said, for me, this is, a middle finger flick knife, um, and the and the action is great. It drops your thumb and drops the rest away with a couple of shakes. Um, really nice. I really dig this knife um, a lot. Uh, very, 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 very cool. Um, so let's go over some of the specs real quick. I'm gonna put this concept pouch right up here. We'll go over this now. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that. Um, the where I where I have found um, ones available are at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So I'm going to put my new affiliate link uh, up here for this, so that you guys can go find this uh, through my affiliate link. And when you buy something on my affiliate link, uh, again I get a small commission back, and I will buy knives for the channel 
uh, and to give away. Now, um, let's see. Uh, so the blade is only 2.18 inches. Uh, it, it is, again, a blade flipper, as they call it here, which is most of us call a front flipper. Has a ceramic ball bearing pivot. Uh, very, very cool. And this one is 4.31 ounces. Now, wait a minute. According to SMKW, it's 4.31 ounces. But we're going to get the scale out here, guys, because I don't know if, I, if I'm believing that. It feels lighter than that to me. Um, let's see. Two, yeah, that's what I thought. 2.33. So, again, I know all these listings sometimes get confused, but there's milling inside there. There's everything. So it's, it's just over two ounces on the weight, so I had to recheck that real quick. A blade thickness is just 0.11 of an inch. It is very thin. It is atom thin. Um, and uh, is a great EDC knife. Bowler M390. Uh, whoa, okay. So I am on a little different listing here. This one says Bowler M390 on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, so th there must be uh, some different versions of this, guys. I know this one is S35. Um, and it, well, okay, so we've got two different things on the listing in Smoky Mountain Knife Works. We've got S35 and uh, M390. I think it's S35, guys. Um, this is a sheep's foot style blade, of course, right hand carry only. Uh, it is a frame lock. The blade length is 2.18, uh, and the closed length or the handle length is 3.45. Now, if I am back here where this finger guard is, I have a finger and a half hanging off into oblivion here. But if you come up onto that little choil, uh, I have a three-finger grip, and the fourth is gripping onto the back end of this right here, and that feels awesome. I love this little knife, guys. Um, I have used this. This is wonderful for getting into packages, and I broke down a bunch of cardboard with it on um, the day I go to the dump. Uh, really, really cool. I'm digging this one a lot. Now, um, it is a little more expensive knife, but it is high-end materials. It's titanium. Uh, it's S35, and this one is right at $138.60 on Smoky Mountain Knife Works and pretty much everywhere you're going to find it. But what a cool little knife. I really, really dig it. Just done so well, and I'm told they're going to come out with a Goblin XL this spring, uh, and I will be looking for that. Uh, very, very much so. If it's the same shape but a little bit bigger, I think I'm all over that. So uh, very, very much, guys. So uh, I had a couple of knives. I want to do a couple of uh, comparisons real quick. So let's do that. Here is the Goblin and the Finch Drifter. The Drifter's got it just slightly on the blade and just slightly on the handle. And then secondly, here is the Goblin and one you will probably know, the Dragonfly 2. And they are roughly the same size as you can see there. So really, really cool, guys. I am a big fan of this Goblin. Uh, and I kind of hate to be sending it back to Brent. Uh, Brent is an awesome dude, and you really should check out his channel. Um, he also sent me, uh, if I can find it, uh, a thumb stud to put on this awesome uh, real steel. He sent me... Uh, this uh, the real steel phasma sent me this thumb stud to go on there. Uh, Andrew Hubbard sent me the knife, and uh, yeah, this is a absolute winner. Uh, Brent is on thumb stud thumb stud uh, team team thumb stud. I guess you call it. He uses these a lot, um, and I think I'm gonna have to do that as well. So thanks, Brent, for sending it along and th sending that thumb stud. Really appreciate it, and uh, I'll be sending this knife back to you soon, guys. Uh, give Brent some thanks down in the comment. Please go follow him. Uh, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on what you think. And uh, guys, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And thank you ever so much for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.